We've now got our Nginx configuration in place, but if I was to spin up Docker now, those changes wouldn't yet be recognized. In order to prove that, let's prove that. So Docker compose up, I'll do hyphen D to do it in detached mode. That means that I'll get the terminal back. Okay, so containers up and running and we still have welcome to Nginx and that original static HTML page. So why is that? Let's go back and consider what we've done and it should all make sense. So if we go to our Docker Compose file, we should be able to see the answers here really. So we have our app service, our PHP, we have our web service, our Nginx, but there's nothing in this web server configuration that says look in an app folder and then inside a public folder for an index PHP file as configured in our default conf. Now there is a way of copying your files and your folders into the container and that's something that we're going to look at in the future but at the moment we're still working on our files and our folders and so for that reason we're going to use something called a volume mapping and that way we are creating a mapping between the files and folders on our host system like we have here into our container. The way that we create a volume mapping is much the same way as what we did with our ports. And so I'm going to do that here again. This will take an array of mappings. And what we want to do is map from nginx conf.d and then the file is default.conf Again, we use the colon, and then we need the location in the container. That location is Etsy. So Etsy in uh, Linux, that's typically used as a folder which contains configuration files. And inside of there, we're going to create a folder for Nginx. And then inside of there, so that our mappings are very similar, you can see the way that I've created these here, Nginx conf D, and then the default conf, just makes it easy for when we go and actually do this volume mapping if things look pretty much identical. So default dot conf. And then in order to find this file at this location, we're going to need to do a similar thing on our app. So here, again, we're going to do volumes. So app on our host machine will map to app in the root directory of our container. Let's go and rerun Docker Compose up. Okay, so it's recreating everything and then starting everything. Let's go to the browser, refresh. Okay, and so now, as you can see in the top left hand corner here, we are seeing Hello World. I could try some other locations just to make sure that if I add some extra paths on here, we still come back to the same place. How about if I did bar.php? Okay, in that scenario, I get a file not found, and that's actually correct. So you could add some extra handling in there to uh, handle files, PHP files, which are not found in case that path mapping is matched. If I went and looked for index.php, then that path mapping does get matched. And again, we see our hello world message. And so just one thing that I want to make clear here. So like I say, you can copy the files from the location into your container. And that is something that we'll do later. That's something which you would do for production. But at the time being, we're actually still working on these files. And so when we create this mapping, it means that even though our containers are up and running, I can go into this file and make some changes and they'll be reflected straight away without me having to go and restart the container. Let me just go and prove that now. So there you go, hello world, here are the changes or here are changes. And so we can make changes and see those in real time.